Welcome to Save Conveyor. This is a recirculating system that we built for a customer. Basically, what we're doing here is the customer sorting through books and other media. And so he'll be dumping uh, large amounts of material onto this loop. Now, if you try to do this with a horizontal transfer, just sliding like you can with totes and bins, you'd find that you get a lot of jams at the transition. So we're using a waterfall transfer system. And one of the problems you have with waterfall transfer is, yeah, you can go downhill, that's pretty good. But what happens when you get to the next transfer, you gotta go downhill again. Well, does that mean every conveyor is lower and lower and lower and this would end up being a spiral conveyor? So we have this unique mid conveyor so this conveyor, as you can see, it has a ramp on it built into it. It's still a horizontal conveyor. It's sitting horizontally, it's not inclined, but it has a low feed end, and then it has a ramp, brings it back up, so it can do another waterfall transfer. So if we have two of these, one at each end of this loop, we can make the lines in between them 30, 40, 50, 60 feet long. And all we now have to do is put these on like an end cap conveyor and we'll be able to go down and bring it back up and then we could be doing another drop. Now this particular customer wanted to have some people working on the inside of this loop. So on this end we put an opening. I'm going to catch this piece here. Now you'll see all the parts are going to fall on the floor unless you shut this line off. And we've got a magnetic stop. So when you lift this, when you open this up, you can walk inside. They also wanted to have the capability that once they've picked all the things that they wanted off this line and there was some stuff left, sometimes when they're dumping this, there's debris and you know, obviously some scrap material they wanted to be able to get rid of it so they hit the switch and run it in reverse so now this line will start to unload Got to up here again, and now it's running backwards it's going to take everything that's on the conveyor line and unload it and after you empty this whole line they can Refill it. So you see everything now is heading toward this corner. Now they could have that go to another conveyor line or like I have it just for now running into the garbage can. And then when they're ready to go back on, just switch it back to the other direction. And now they're looping again. This is the uh, 24 inch wide ball and bar smooth top belt that we manufacture. It's got Teflon in it. It's not dust, it doesn't wear, it runs very quietly. It's running at 25 feet per minute, it's a variable speed drive. You can turn this one, I believe, up to 50 feet per minute, so it's running at about half speed, which is a good speed to run your motor at. And the whole system is on uh, casters, so they can move this line around. The corners are locked at the ends. This particular corner is hinged to allow for like a walk through. And so this one's composed of two eight foot sections that are joined. And then of course we have these end sections which are eight feet long also. So this is a very useful product for companies that are trying to increase their productivity, get more throughput when they're sorting through material because they're presenting this material they can present this to multiple operators and it's a lot easier than trying to sort through a pile on a table. And it's manufactured by Safe Conveyor in Swansea, Massachusetts. Thanks for watching.